Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I, will, I will try to go through this context, but we'll try to, to go directly to the key messages, to the key points, uh, to not to waste time. Anyway, uh, the context of my presentation will be analyzing uh, the main aspect related to the relationship between the identification registration system and the animal health information system, some spots on, on which could be the, the objective or animal health information system, the inputs and outputs of the system, then the key messages, the key points for the animal health information system development, and I would like to give you and to spend a little bit more uh, um, words on some examples. Uh, please consider that the examples that I will uh, provide you in this presentation are not just theoretically. It's not something that could be done. It's something that has been done. How we can uh, define the uh, uh, animal health information system is something, is a, a system, organized uh, system, able to collect, manage, and analyze the relevant or significant technological data to support the, uh, the decision-making process and to uh, disseminate the information to all the stakeholders that are uh, involved in the, in the food value chain. As already said, any animal information system could be very difficult to be developed without a proper, uh, um, I mean, uh, any strategy of animal disease prevention control would be dif difficult to be, to be uh, uh, implemented without an animal health information system. The pre condition, I mean the prerequisite for the animal health information system is surely the existence, the place of animal recording system and animal traceability. All these systems could be the basis, the pillars for any animal health information system, in particular the identification registration system. Therefore, what we decide, the choices that we made in the, for the implementation of identification registration system can and will uh, uh, have an influence to the performances of our animal health information system. I'll give you just an example here. Using an electronic identification, I can have a more efficient uh, data management for the purposes of the animal health information system even along the history of the animal, even to the, to the slaughterhouses, and to the, uh, uh, in this case, in this example, the meat labeling, for example. But the, the influence of animal uh, identification registration systems is not only uh, related to the type of um, identification means that I will, choice, I will choose, uh, but also other uh, choices that we made in the implementation of the registration system. For example, how I will define the epidemiological unit, which kind of data I will collect for each premises, and uh, very important for animal health purposes, the rules that I will apply for the notification recording of animal movements. Uh, these are the main objectives that we can recognize in the animal health information system. And here we can have some of the benefits deriving from each objective from the uh, developing of an animal health information system. Just to, uh, just to give some spots, uh, for example, for the, the uh, supporting the uh, animal disease notification uh, obligation is fundamental also for the international credibility of the country. That's very important for the market access also. And on the other side, the risk assessment methodologies are very important for the uh, import and export of risk assessment, so to have a scientifically sound approach to the problems and to the risk derived from the international trade, and for example, to support the zoning or regionalization strategy in the country, so giving the possibility for some part of the country to access to the international market, for example. These are the main input of the animal health information system. As you can see, there are many different things 
some of them, animal movements, uh, data on susceptible animals uh, are coming from the uh, identification registration system. Some others are coming from laboratory systems or to uh, management, I mean, uh, uh, veterinary action uh, recording system. Uh, today, for example, is uh, more and more important the data on genomic, uh, on the genome of pathogens not only viruses, but also uh, bacteria, if you consider on the food safety problem, for example. These others are the possible main outputs of animal health information system. As we say, able to satisfy the uh, international obli obligations, the evaluation of uh, veterinary actions, so for the better planning of the veterinary actions, um, the assessment of, of animal population that status, so the health certification, uh, risk assessment, and the early warning in case of uh, emergencies, health emergencies. Basic key points. An animal health information system must be based on clear rules and procedures. The other important point that data that is, should be validated by the, the same persons that generate them. That's very important. And also, it must respect and be based on the organizational structure of the institutions, of the uh, veterinary services, whatever, in which is uh, placed. And when the, uh, there is an attempt to integrate different system uh, in a more integrated system, because uh, as we have seen, we have uh, other systems that can provide data, that can uh, take the output from, from the animal health information system, you have to consider that a big effort should be made on the standardization of procedures and having common dictionaries, a common coding system between these, the different systems. Uh, this is an example, a real example in place, uh, in, uh, for example, in Italy, uh, in, or integration of the animal uh, identification system and the laboratory management system. So the food, the sampling of food or animal sampling, the registration of su such kind of data in animal health information system, uh, each uh, uh, sample slot, samples dispatch, is uh, uh, codified by the unique sampling code. The electronic acceptance and management of this data by the laboratory we, uh, and the uh, results of the test have been uh, directly supplied to, to the main system. This kind of integration can have a big benefit also for the laboratories, for example, in this, in, in this situation, because the laboratories could be able to manage all the data just using the data providing from the uh, uh, identification registration system or other system, uh, just generating and recording the data of its competence, the test results, for example, without producing any paper. I have to stress, however, that when you shift from the paper to the computer or computerized system, uh, you must be very careful in planning the system. I always say that when you have a paper, if you have a, an exceptional situation, you can put the footnotes. You cannot put, no way to put footnotes on the computer. Another example, I will try to jump closer to you. This is the uh, laboratory information uh, management system uh, that we work on it and we provide to some countries uh, of the South African countries, where in some of them the um, integration uh, or the partial integration with the uh, identification registration system is still in place or ongoing. Just to giving you other uh, spots on the examples of the benefit of the relationship with interoperability between the animal health information system and the animal register. Typically, for example, this is the 
uh, system for the management of outbreaks, animal disease outbreaks, in which main information deriving, uh, for example, the coordinates, the geographical location, number of animals, uh, and so on, uh, deriving from the, the animal register and derived from the identification system are used to proper manage the health situation, health emergencies. Another example is the use of the traceability system data in order to have quick analysis of the movement patterns, uh, for example, in relation to an outbreak or a suspicion of disease in one herd of holding. These are different holdings, and these are all the connections made by these holdings by animal movements. And this can be also very useful to decide where to focus my, uh, my control actions or where to focus my investigation in case of suspicion uh, of uh, uh, an emerging disease, for example. These kind of tools are available today with the, with the technology available today. It's not very difficult. Uh, but, of course, you need a traceability system in place behind. So, I try to, to give you um, very briefly some spots on, on, on the relationship between animal identification registration system and the animal health management of the uh, animal populations. Today, this kind of uh, things can be simplified, if you want, or can be more usable and in-field condition due to the uh, communication technologies that we have today. And we would like to finish here and to thank you for the attention and to thank the FAO for the opportunity and all my colleagues in Africa and in Teramo in Italy working on that. Thank you very much.